Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Fruit Ninja series in Scratch. This is part three. This is going to be a pretty short episode. We're going to be changing our numbers on the animations and the physics. Uh, then we're going to be adding score and lives and then just renaming some sprites. So just a couple things to do. Uh, and then we can start to build more of the core aspects of the game in later parts. So first of all, let's change some of the numbers in our fruit sprites. So the first thing I want to do is change this number, negative uh, 15 to 15, from negative 2, negative 10 to 10. Because I feel like you know they're getting thrown a little bit too much and it should be a little bit simpler to follow. The next thing I want to do is bring in a pick random into our clone YV. Now, all of our clones, our fruits, are going to the same height, uh, around the same height. We want to add a little bit more variation, so we're going to do this from a sign of 90 minus direction, and then instead of times 17, we want to bring that to pick random 14 to 16. And then I also feel that our gravity, so the speed at which the fruits fall, is a bit too fast. So we're going to change that to 0.55, negative 0.55. And that means in our sliced fruits as well, we need to change that to negative 0.55. Five. Whoops. Perfect. The next thing we want to do is add a variable. We're going to call it score. And we're going to create a new sprite. Again, all links to the files are in the description below. But we're just going to go to the art and add the score.png. Perfect. Now we're going to hide all of these uh, irrelevant variables that we don't really want to show. We're going to double tap on score to turn it into this kind of counter and then change the size of this score to 30. That's a bit small. Let's do 50. 50 looks good. And put that on the left of it. Now when flag is clicked, obviously we want our score to start by being set to zero. Uh, and every time we slice a fruit, we want to change it by one. So the way we do that is we look for that if touching mouse pointer. Then we change score by one. And this will only apply to the unsliced fruit because of this little logic right here. So now you can see that as we start to slice the fruit, our score goes up. Perfect. Um, the next thing we want to do is add lives to our game. So let's create a variable and we'll call it lives lost instead of just lives. And the reason is because in Fruit Ninja, you don't track the amount of lives you have, but the amount of lives you've lost. And, and you'll see what I mean by that. So let's create a new sprite. Again, upload these costumes that are linked in the description below. I'm going to bring all four of these items and we can delete the first again. Let's set our size of this to, um, I think, maybe 60. 60 looks good. Bring it to the top right. And then we're just going to add some basic logic here. So similar to score, when flag is clicked, set the amount of lives lost to zero. And then what we want to do is go into our sprite one. And this is the logic when a fruit falls below. So we want to make sure that it's unsliced. And if it is, then we're going to lose a life. So the way to do that is to go into control, drag in an if. We want to delete the clone regardless, so we'll put that on the end. But here we want to test if our clone type is equal to fruit. And fruit means it's unsliced. Then all we're going to do is broadcast a message called lose life. And then in this lives sprite, we're going to say when I receive lose life, then we're going to add some code. So first of all, we want to change the lives lost by one. And then we're going to switch to the right costume. So as you can see, these costumes are numbered 0, 1, 2, and 3. And so in order to turn this variable into a costume number, all we have to do is drag in a join from the operators and drag in a lives lost and then just put an empty space here. And the reason is because lives lost is a number. So if you put lives lost directly, it will actually glitch out. So you need to add this little space at the end, even though there's nothing there. So to add an animation, we want to drag in a repeat to 
go to motion, change X by negative two, and then drag in a weight, and we'll change it from one to 0 0.05 seconds. Duplicate this and make it four. So we've moved it two to the left. Now we wanna move it four to the right, and then move it two to the left uh, again to, to return to our original position. So let's see how this looks. As you can see, it's a nice animation. And let's see if this is working. So as you can see, we start at zero and this is updating. But one thing you might notice is that when we start, this is being set to three. So we actually need to drag this little block right here. And now once we hide lives lost, this game should work perfectly. So we can swipe at the fruit, we gain score, and if we let one go, we lose a life, another, another, and obviously we haven't handled game over logic, but we'll do that in a future part. To finish up this part, let's just rename some of our sprites. We'll rename this to fruit, we'll rename this to score, and we will rename this to lives. All right, that's where I'm gonna leave off this part. Hope to see you guys in part four, and yeah, peace.